Hey everybody. All right, I wanted to bring you this from Anonymous, and I'm gonna start doing an Anonymous playlist for all these. I I don't know what that gunshot noise was. That was weird. Um, coming from uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Anon HQ. Now this is one I wanted to bring you for a couple days, but last two days I've kind of been under the weather. Teen hacker who almost broke the internet, spared prison. Uh. Nolan McDowell, a British teenager cyber geek, known for known in the cyber world as Narco, was just 13 when he joined a network of online hackers who later brought down websites of global installations, including the BBC, to their knees using distributed denial of service DDoS attacks. In March of 13, hackers targeted uh, Shamus, a firm that provided uh, details of spammers to email and network providers. The attack on this anti-junk mail slowed the internet around the world. Shamus uh, called on Cloudflare, a service that blocks online assaults for support, which led to the largest known DDoS attack on hacker at the time. At its peak, the attack was guiding 300 gigabytes of traffic every second to the Shamus computer. So these guys had bank to do this, folks. This wasn't somebody whose daddy's laptop was open and they went on there and they set this up. This was a controlled cyber attack. This was big. This is why the big players usually do not go to prison. After his arrest in 2013, more than 70,000 Euros were discovered in McDonald's bank account. Cops found the source code used in the attacks on the devices his, in his London home. He also had it in his possession a thousand credit card numbers. Uh, Nolan McDowell pleaded guilty to two counts of unauthorized modification of computer material and one count possessing article for use in fraud. He also admitted a charge of transferring criminal property and charge of possession of 924 incident photos, indecent photos of children. Uh, I don't know so much about this one, folks, because the guy was underage from the reading. So the very fact that they're going to charge a youth with 924 indecent photos of children seems a bit much unless it was very indifferent or very different from his own age group but it is what it is uh, Seth Nolan McDowell you know basically was committed a serious crime and beginning of 2011 through April of 2013 at the age of 13 to 16 basically he's 18 and a half and he pleaded guilty to these offenses in December last year and January this year, just before his, your, his 18th birthday. Uh, he was sentenced as a youth, and the emphasis it was very outset to matters in particular in respect to the uh, culpability. And basically, I'm not going to go through this, but from what I understand, they spared him prison, and what I'm really going to go into is now he probably works directly for some giant United Kingdom uh, cyber task force, I imagine, as an adult, now that he is. So, kudos for him.